Hey everyone, welcome back to Software Testing Mentor and RCV Academy. In today's video, I'm going to discuss about the topic, how to learn software testing step by step. This video is relevant for freshers or any person who is absolutely new to software testing and wants to learn software testing from scratch. So this video will be covering all the key aspects that you need to learn when you are trying to build a career in software testing so that you're basics get clear and then eventually you can build advanced skills on the basics that we are going to discuss. So the first thing that you need to ask yourself is why you want to get into software testing. So once you have understood your why that this is the reason I want to get into this profession, then you need to actually go ahead and start preparing for the interview and the skills that are needed to clear that interview, right? So once you are ready to learn what what you should actually go ahead and start learning. The first and foremost thing is asking why is testing required, right? So the first and foremost thing. So why is testing required or why do we need to do software testing? So get an answer to that why. And there will be a lot of books available, the videos that I have posted, I have explained why software testing is so necessary and required in the industry, okay? Once you understand why software testing is necessary and required, then you need to ask a question, what exactly is software testing, okay? So the next thing is what, all right? So what is software testing is the next topic that you need to understand. Now, when you understand what is software testing, you know why it is required you know what is software testing then is actual process or the topics that you need to start learning and that comes into the how part of it so how do we do software testing right so these two things are sort of prerequisite and this is my understanding and this is my experience that whenever i learn any topic anything that is new these are the two questions that I always ask. Why do we need that particular platform or technology? And then what exactly it is, right? So once I get answer to that, then I go ahead with how. And when you question or when you get answers to why and what, how becomes really easy because you can then correlate okay so all the topics that we see in software testing will then fall into the how part and now what you need to learn in how is basically the first and foremost thing is how exactly this software testing is done through the software development life cycle right so how it is done in sdlc all right. So when we say SDLC, now it is software development lifecycle and then there have been different software development models. So there was waterfall model, then it has some drawbacks. Then we had V model and spiral and a lot of other things that evolved over the period of time. And nowadays it's agile, right? So this is the last bit or basically there are some organizations which still use V model or waterfall model but that's very rare agile is where every most of the team work or product development happens in agile and usually using scrum okay so now when you understand different software development lifecycle models then you understand you try to correlate how actually testing fits in this life cycle what is the role of testing within it what do we actually do right so you understand how it is done within the sdlc you understand software development models and then you understand how testing fits within it now there are so many topics within it i won't get into too many details of each and every specific topic but i'll keep it high level so it gives you a brief idea what exactly you need to learn and how you need to approach it okay so within this sdlc itself when you try to correlate or when you try to fit in testing you will be understanding about different test levels right so say for example software development is happening there is a code base that has been developed by a particular developer then what that developer will do first he'll, he'll try to write the unit test right so unit testing then you have uh, integration then you have system so all of those levels you will see all of the testing types that are there you will learn all of that in this whole so make sure that you learn about testing levels you learn about the test types everything in detail when you are learning this how part right so this is the first sort of thing that you should be targeting to start your learning journey okay now the next thing is you learn about the test 
design right so once you know that the how testing fits within the software development life cycle it doesn't matter which development model it is whether it's water, waterfall or v model or agile you should understand you should be able to correlate how testing will actually happen within these models and how actually the overall team or the testing team will progress and deliver the quality software now after that you should learn about the test design techniques right so because test design techniques help you to um, understand how you are going to design the test cases so you know that in sdlc this is how you are going to test but then testing doesn't happen randomly you need to plan it you need to write the test cases so how you are going to write an effective test cases this test design techniques will guide you to write those effective test cases because then you don't have to do hit and trial to find the test cases or to just randomly test right because you will have the logical segregation of the equivalence partitions or boundary value analysis or its state transition so there are different techniques here that you will be learning so equivalence partitioning boundary value analysis uh, state transition right so state transition um, and then you have uh, exploratory testing right so a lot of techniques there so understand the concepts behind it right so i'm not saying as a fresher you should know each and every detail of it but at least understanding the basics will really help okay along with these test design techniques understand the white box test design techniques as well so understand the differentiation between white box test design techniques and black box test design techniques and how they are going to help so theoretical knowledge in that aspect will help you to pick these concepts when you actually get into the project okay the next thing is is once you have understood about the test design uh, techniques then you understand about the management part of it right so test management all right so test management just an understanding of it right how the testing will be managed so what are test plans what is test strategy then how actually defects are being managed how defects are raised and then what are what all management aspects are related into the testing you will get detail into the test management section right in this sdlc phase you will get understanding of the whole testing process within the software development life cycle so how the planning is done what is execution how do you execute after execution what happens so all of that will be covered here then in the techniques design techniques you will understand how to write good test cases in the management part you will understand that how overall testing is being managed so entry criteria exit criteria all of that planning aspect will go into the management right so you need to find the topics and learn the test management module in detail okay now after that you progress to the testing tools right so testing tools now testing tools is important because without tools you won't be able to work effectively within testing so you need to understand what are different types of tools available so say for example what are uh, test case management tool right so test case management tools so where do you actually keep your test cases so nowadays jira is very widely used and jira has a plugin uh, test management plugin zephyr or x-ray which are popular ones so that will help you to understand how the test case management is done within jira how the defects are being raised learn other defect management tools that are there in the market because once you know one tool it will be easy for you to pick up other tools as well for test management or for defect management once you know the life cycle behind the defect Defects and understand why defects are raised and how they are raised and how they are managed you will be able to pick other test management tools and defect management tools as well okay along with that automation tools okay so understanding of the tools so basically what category the tools are so what what are some of the automation tools what is automation why automation is required that will be covered into the automation tools and this particular section so understanding of that is also very important right now along with these topics let me move this side okay now along with these topics you need to learn about other tools as well right so other tools when i say it's version control what is version control okay and then what are some of the tools that will help to achieve this version control right then what are some of the performance testing tools then 
you have build and deployment tools right so there will be a lot of other tools that are actually used within the project so as a tester it's not just that you should stick to only the test management and defect management tool you need to dig deeper into these tools and testing concepts in much detail but that doesn't mean that the other tools that are used within the project you don't need to have an understanding of it right so you need to understand what is version control why it is used what are the advantages what are performance testing tools and why they are used what is performance testing right so what is performance testing you will anyways learn here in the testing type then tools you can learn separately and it's it's not that you need to learn the tool itself you need to learn the concept that these are some of the performance testing tools that are used in different organizations that will give you an understanding of performance testing as well as some of the tools that will give you an understanding of the automation and some of the tools that are used for UI automation or API automation so that details will help you to crack the interviews easily as a fresher or as a, as a person who is going as a fresher into software testing field right and then build and deployment very important right so nowadays devops is going on so how do you automatically build uh, the packages how do you deploy automatically some of the details and tools available in that whole life cycle of the, or the software development life cycle will definitely help you to have an edge over the other candidates who just read the book content and not try to correlate the concepts that you learn with the actual project or the life cycle right now along with all of this all of these concepts that you learn the most important thing is to actually try to correlate write a test case practice it do it yourself right so that is very important factor so when I say write a test case how you can achieve that as a fresher or you don't have any project to work work on right so how exactly can you achieve that? So just take a sample user story or sample requirement. Just try Googling and find out some of the sample requirement. If you can't, there is a video that I have already posted wherein I have created some of the sample user stories, which are sort of requirement that you can consider. Pick those requirements and write some test cases. So understand how the test cases are written. Okay. So write test cases using those requirements okay now once you have written the test cases you understand what all goes within the test case right key information that needs to go within the test case once you write once you practice couple of test cases you will be able to learn now once you have written the test case those requirements would be for some of the application right try to execute those test cases so when once you write the test case for example step one launch this application okay so you go ahead and launch the application then click on login button you click on login button and then you start marking the uh, steps as pass and fail either in the excel sheet where you have written or if you can write within jira and have the x-ray installed which is which will be available for free up to 10 users so jira is available for free up to 10 users and zephyr is also available uh, i think trial version is available uh, for 30 days there you can write and you you can try to create a cycle and execute right so once you execute you mark the test case as pass and fail that will give you a confidence so once you mark a test case as fail raise a defect right so execute execute the test all right so this is all practical testing that you will learn when you have learned all the concepts and will give you more confidence right then fail the test case deliberately and raise a defect right or log the defect now when you log the defect in the tool you know that what all key details need to go into the defect template when you are logging the defect so once you log the defect you will understand yes this is basically the life cycle when when i written the test case i created the test cycle i added the test uh, test case into test cycle executed the test case then failed uh, when the test case got failed i logged the defect and assign it to a developer right so that life cycle within the tool will help you to understand how to write test, how to log defect, how to execute and will give you a lot more confidence as compared to just reading the concept. So reading the concept, learning everything through the videos is important. But then start with a why, 
what and then go ahead with the how why is important because if you don't know why software testing is required what is the necessity of it then it doesn't make sense to learn the how part of any of the technology and it's not specific to only software testing it is basically applicable to any of the tool or technology that you want to learn i personally apply it and i find it really helpful now it's up to you Try applying this and if you find it helpful, uh, please do comment and I'll be happy to see what, what your comments are. All right, so that's all for this particular video, how to learn software testing step by step. I hope this was helpful. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe for more videos and the tutorial videos that I keep posting regularly. Thank you very much for watching.